time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. When you start a 91-man roster series, you got to cover every position. And we're up to the punter, Mitch Wisnowski, coming in at number 44. Shout out to Mitch. And I do have to let everybody know, this is the second time I recorded this full episode because the first time I did it, the audio was off the entire time. But let's just be honest. Mitch deserves two episodes coming off of his best year as a pro by a mile. Um, You know, was drafted super early. Didn't really live up to expectations at all the first three years. Gets his extension comes out and has his best year, which is great. And so uh, you have to, no matter where you stand on the value of punters or kickers or special teamers, what Mitch did last year was awesome. And the the 49ers had the number one defense and yards and points allowed. Mitch Wisnowski played a crucial role in that. And we'll get into the stats and how he's improved and all these different things. But first, let's uh, get to know Mitch just a little bit. Shout out to Josh, the 49ers guru, um, who did all the back work on this episode. He's just killing this whole series. Now, Mitch was 52 last year, and he jumped up to 44. And, you know, how much of that is just the rookies that are competing for spots, the depth pieces, whatever. But Mitch has turned himself into a weapon. Um, and that is great news. He wears now jersey number 18. He switched numbers around a little bit during his time with the 49ers. 6'2", 220. He's a big, he's a jacked punter. Uh, let's, let's just call it what it is. 31-inch uh, arms. He's 31 years old. He ran a 4'640", so he's big, he's fast, he's got good speed. 32-and-a-half-inch verticals. You, you put all of Mitch Wisnowski's measurables into the mock draftable database and if you you know switch it off of kickers and just put it on athletes and whatever else listen to these comps jeremiah gimmel who was an undrafted free agent last year out of university of north carolina the general if you remember they're almost identical zach wilson the quarterback for the jets jermaine pratt the linebacker starting linebacker in the end of it like Mitch is an athlete. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Uh, not to mention the stupid video I did at the first day of training camp where he was working off to the side. It looks just like George Kittle. He's got the mullet hair coming out the back. He's a big dude. I made a mistake. Kittle uh, totally called me on it, which was awesome. And, you know, if we look at what Mitch, the way in which he got to the NFL, it's it's a trip, man. Uh, no, no doubt about it. Very, very long journey to get there. You know, he's born in Gosnells, um, a suburb of Perth, which is Western Australia. Then he goes to New Zealand um, with his parents um, who were from Hawke's Bay. Played Aussie rules football his whole, you know, kind of childhood. But then he had to give it up whenever he was younger because he kept having shoulder injuries. So he even leaves school at the age of 17 to start an apprenticeship. You know, they do things different, but glass installation specialist, that was going to be his career. That is what he was going to be doing with the rest of his life. Goes to a punter's kind of training camp um, that was put on in Australia, did really, really well. There was a scout there from the University of Utah. They started building a relationship. Eventually, he got a scholarship, you know, a little bit older than most players coming into the league. But then he goes to Utah, it just dominated. He was a three-time All-American, Ray Guy Award winner in 2016. And probably, if you had to hang your hat on one thing that Mitch Wisnowski has done that nobody else has, he was a Ray Guy Award winner finalist, which goes to the best punter in football. Not once, not twice, but three times. The only player ever in NCAA history to qualify for that. And I think it's a testament just to... The talent of the leg. You know, we, we've seen the Niners go pick Jake Moody. Um, and we saw the Niners take Mitch Wisnowski in the fourth round. They value elite traits with these kickers. Uh, both, you could argue, have two of the biggest legs in the NFL already. Um, no doubt about that. Now, there there are some flaws to his game for sure, but he's very talented and i remember my biggest concern with him he led the country in blocked punts coming out of utah and i was like oh my gosh what are we doing he's had one kick blocked i believe his entire career so far as far as punts go um now he gets drafted in the fourth round pick eight of the fourth round in 2019 this was the nashville draft i remember i walked down to the stage to announce the pick and i'm you know live streaming recording and sure enough when they announced you know the San Francisco 49ers with the fourth round, pick eight, select 
punter. <laughs> I was just like, oh, my gosh. In the fourth round? Um, you know, you, you can say what you will about that. Was it a reach? 100% yes. Um, Jake Bailey went 53 spots after him. He's already got an All-Pro and a Pro Bowl. Um, some other players that were selected after him, Tony Pollard, Dre Greenlaw, Hunter Renfro, Gardner Minshew. You can go on and on and on. But the whole idea of Shanahan and John Lynch, they believe the fourth round, which they include the third round comp picks into the fourth round. They've been very, very clear about that. It's time to find people that can be on the roster guaranteed. That's what they're looking for, and that's what Mitch was. Now, his time in the NFL, 236 punts. That's quite a few. 45.2-yard average, solid. 101 punts inside the 20. That's a 42% of all of his punts inside the 20. Not bad. Um, last year... Um, 17 games, 61 punts. He had a 43.9 average. But here's my favorite thing about him. Only had five touchbacks. So 61 punts, five touchbacks. That's incredible. 32 punts inside the 20 for 52% inside the 20. That's huge. Um, I, I really do think that he was great. And if you look at PFF numbers or whatever else, he had a 58.4 punt grade in 2021. That shot up to 73.3. So you're talking about a 15-point jump, and it showed. Um, seventh highest graded punter from Pro Football Focus last year, fourth most punts inside the 20. He's top 10 in every category. I have no qualms whatsoever with saying Mitch Wisnowski is kind of a top five punter. Um, now, is he closer to seven than he is to four? Sure, I, I do agree with that. But not if he continues on this trajectory. And so, you know, he's 31, but he's got the leg. He's in shape. I'm excited to see what he can do, and if he can keep on that climb, I think Pro Bowls are in his future. Uh, all pros, I don't think we're there yet, but Pro Bowl, yes. With If he does the exact same season that he did this year, he should be a Pro Bowl punter um, in my estimation. Now, another thing that I th don't think that Mitch Wisnowski gets credit for, I think he's the best <laughs> holder on the field goal unit that I've seen in a long damn time. You know, we break down every single play – all 22, offense, defense, special teams, the last two and a half years, we've never missed one play. I've seen every single field goal and extra point, and we have broken it down. And you can go back and check our Patreon and watch those. Mitch is a beast whenever it comes to holding. I really felt that, you know, our snapper, Tabor Pepper, who I love, I, I thought he had a very down year. But Mitch was able to kind of cover that up so that people didn't notice. A lot of very bad snaps, high snaps, low snaps, inside snaps, outside snaps. You know, he was kind of all over the, the place last year. But Mitch is just kind of, you know, the person that just keeps it going. There, there's no doubt about it. Now, we traded back. The 49ers did. They were picking um, at 104 overall. They fell back six spots with the Bengals. So the Bengals got pick 110 overall, and they took a quarterback, Ryan Finley. Hasn't panned out. The Niners fell back six spots. They picked, obviously, Mitch Wisnowski, but they also picked up pick 183 overall, Justin School, who was a tackle. He didn't really pan out as well, but that's just kind of where he is. You know, Mitch, if, if we're looking at the roster and kind of what he brings, he's a lock. There's... He he started camp on the pup for one day, and they didn't even bring in a backup punter to compete. They just said, ah, he'll be fine. Like, Mitch is the guy. Uh, barring significant injury, but I think he's going to be fine. He's a punter. Excited. I just really hope he maintains or increases production. And if he does, then I think he's going to start to get some of the career accolades that, you know, a punter would want. Pro Bowls, all that stuff could be in his future. And it helps the defense. This is all hidden yardage that – the 49ers defense doesn't have to stop. You know, people don't understand. If you get a punt inside the 10 as opposed to a touchback, that's an extra first down and a half usually that the defense has to stop. And so if the touchbacks make such a big difference, and when the 49ers defense, they already have so much confidence, Nick Bosa, Defensive Player of the Year, Warner, they're so good whenever they're jogging onto the field and that ball starts inside the 20-yard line, it is just like a steroid boost. Like, you are just like, yeah, let's go. Not that I've done steroids, but uh, obviously, right? <laughs> but but it just makes such a big difference. And that's why Mitch is at number 44, despite being a punter. Uh, I think he's a key piece in the 49ers story for 2023. So hopefully you enjoyed that, Mitch. Go get him, buddy. And for us, we'll just keep counting him down.